for the fashion and the passion. It's, it's the future, guys. The future. The food. The food. <laughs> the food. The, the bed. You gotta know it. You must know it. You, I am HPP. Mm. We are HPP. Mm. Explain. We are Not the girl. Heartbreak Barbie. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak Break it Barbie. down. Break it down. We are here literally trying to undo heartbreaks. We are not That's creating it. them. We're this is them. They're already dark. Mm -hmm. I'm just here. Healing. We are all about healing. Heal. We are all about trying transforming. To a whole lot of yes. undone things. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Mm -hmm. That's it. Awesome. Just trying to undo heartbreaks. So how are I'm led we? by a woman. I have a feminine energy, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah. And when we talk energy, we're not talking genitals. Mm -mm. We're talking energy. energy. Internal. And in order for all of us if, to be balanced, if you did science, you understand. You can't create, not destroy it. You can only recreate it, transfer, it. transform, yeah. transmute. Mm -hmm. You feel? You see? I'm educated. Hey, these children. <laughs> you know, not just a pretty hey. face. And who's behind the camera? I'd like to know. Big Daddy Wow Wow. Big Daddy Wow Wow. Yeah, that's him. He's awesome. <laughs> He's the organizer. And, yeah, so I, I thought it would be best for you to come I'm, here. I'm in hmm. people. I'm for this. I'm here to undo the heartbreak. Heartbreak. The father of the heartbreaks. <laughs> why why okay so this event uh, came about because uh, Nolutando felt that um, you know there's not a big platform for women to actually voice out uh, their own stories mm -hmm. and uh, with it being international po poetry day tomorrow she felt it would be best if she had a little get together where women could come and you know give express. us their story and express and give us their voices so we could hear you know um, their own personal experiences with certain things that we experience in society that's and beautiful you've noticed most of the lineup is predominantly women and this is actually done deliberately because yes we we do know men we have our story but women we want to hear you today it's all about you guys. empower the voice yes. and Thank you see you. guys men are supporting us we're not it's all trash <laughs> thank you so much thank you very much and then we can so welcome to the very first American, American Corner Makers Valley event. Welcome to the beginning of an extraordinary journey ahead of us. Welcome to the path of great collaborations, relationships, friendships, and impactful programming. Welcome to our Women's Resistance Poetry Session. We are officially open now. We are so thrilled that our first programming event gets to commemorate Women's History Month. As women, we have a great opportunity and responsibility to change the status quo and forge a new future for ourselves and generations to come. We need to teach our children that women and men are equal and we should have equal rights and opportunities. To me, Women's History Month is a time to remember and honor all those women who have fought for our rights, many losing their lives in the process. Let us make a commitment to their memory to never give up until we are all truly equal. Nervous. 
My child, this is a petition. My kind, every gebed is for you. Cockerel crow. Imbabado. And I harden more than skin. I harden thighs. Allow to be to swells out of spirit. And these mountains stand feet apart. These are shadows, counting backwards with clenched lips the birth of unlearning. My horizon will bring forth a sun, who will grow to become bigger than the day. This class is of swimming birds, a phantom soggy wings fisting the air, call it geographic surgery, or circumcising the feet of patriarchy, you will not run away. You will stay. Will not erect you yourself on the shoulders of women, I pray, when it's light out, sun, go lie down. Mm -hmm. At dusk, do not wander around. You stop being a ghost when I gave you passage of way. Do not turn back to the fire. Mm -hmm. The warmth you seek is in your core. Your mother's torso is a coiling thorn. Piercing the sky in search of your bloodline. How old is your foreskin? What shape is your masculinity? What color was your father's sacrifice? You're expressive and you're loyal, and that is hard to find. But never display your heart, some people pray on your kind. The sight of seeing crowd really made my soul ache And your tears are strong enough to even make it a break They drip slowly and slowly into a sorrowful lake Where life will feel like it's drowning and life will face its own fate Your heart is too pure, your smile too bright to be fake I hope you stay woke and I pray you do not get played this world is influential, don't get led astray You've never been bad, so don't start changing someday What a cold world it is, I hope your heart has a blanket Sadness, hatred and my lies, place those three in the casket If love is made of metal, then your heart must be magnet I'm not kidding, jokes aside, those two have really connected These days and I'm being abusive, what's up with it? One of the things I learned at home is never be like a chick. Instead, protect and honor females. Be a gentleman, you did. A real nigga will never cry instead of keeping the head. Every beauty needs a beast, be the hope for the queen. But don't fail to satisfy her, always keep the flame real. And if she ever gives you her soul, consider it a big deal. Don't take that action for granted, it has the deepest meaning. Show her some love and respect, don't let her tears start tripping. Yes. Haters will come through, just make sure she ain't tripping. Trust loyalty and support, make up the strongest foundation. Then reaching the satisfaction completes the situation. Don't make hurting her an option, it'll mess up the whole connection. Honestly speaking, being a player is childish. Instead of maintaining the heart of your queen, you're still playing foolish. Enough of playing around, it's time to get serious. Men will forever try their luck, because she is far from being heinous. So have that unconditional love, and stop acting with girls. Thank you. Resistance, poetry. Poetry. Session. <laughs> poetry session. It's been great. Thank you to the artists who've been on the stage. Thank you for blessing it. It's nice and warm. I'm over Sita Obi. Wa Azuri, that is the Oho to my left. The man tinkering with the guitar is Shoni Kudu. Shoni Wa Azuri. And together we are Azuri Street Symphony. And thank you for being with us today. It is nice to be here. And ladies, we're coming to celebrate the spirit of Mbobotos. Shine. So, seriously, simply saying this, this is one for you. Yeah.
why I'm a soldier. I'm a child in my head for an entire day. I'm a soldier and sleep as a child. Just remember, I'm a soldier, a child with debts, a soldier with a child, a product of vanilla loving, a play, a thing on words to fuel, to f heal, not walls. It's not the death part that gets me spun. That's a, a crime scene post-confrontation, a consequence, like me. 25 years into post-prison daily shaking death off of me, apparently I'm black in between life and represent death, embodiment from that coin that I am, apparently. That's the consequence. I'm a child. I know consequence. I'm a soldier. I know war and its casual wearing off of lands, casualties of confrontation, consequence of every morning. I'm a soldier every morning when the sun rises behind me, mountain. This is war. I am casualty. I am soldier. I want to be child again, to embody imagining freedom from war. Moraba raba. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, soldier, mountain. Greetings from the mountain. A force that forces, I am a force that lays Look, I am mounted. How much time do you think I've wasted? I force, force, maybe sometimes too gracefully. But we've seen how doing things gracefully you can't win it. I am mountain. We carry our weight unequivocally, quite apologetically, unequally, because remember we are a group of maybes, babies. Pulling, yeah. Tearing muscles. I like that egg. It's like remembering that there are parts to this temple mountain prayer site of worship. That's it. Worship. This is that mountain that is an idol. No false gods. Frère, this mountain gives you some things to believe in because I leave rocks behind. I have too many to spare. Throw, smash, gilithiga, mafiga. Just fucking worship the mountain. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my name is Naledi King. I'm here to expand and express and explore. This voice is one that's hard to ignore. When I sing, speak, right, you may hear shit you never heard before. Now tell me, what are you here for? Open up your heart and mind, because there's so much more. What's really deep down at your core? Come on, find out more. You see, I had to learn to become self-sovereign. All my problems, I had to learn to solve them. I stand on majestic shoulders, seeing and seeing nature much, much older. Fuck out of here, tell me, can't do this, don't do that. I just don't want to hear my life. I'm in charge of that. Didn't come here to be told what to do, so if you want me to listen, negotiate, boo. A stronger bond between me and you means I do me, you do you, and when we are individually stronger, that's when we can take it the fuck higher. More fire, more fire, more fire together, we won't tire. I'm here to expand, express, explore, here to experience so much more, here to see what's deep down at my core. What are you here for? What are you here for? What are you here for? Tell me what you are here for. Thank you. Thank you. Unnecessary fights. Mm. Queen, you need a king, not a knight, but there's a wise way to dealing with the knight. Mm. He's often immature, can't handle queen light because it shines too bright as he journeys through his soul's night. Mm. But maybe one day he'll be a king and not a knight. Mm.
step up and maybe just maybe do things right. Mm. But for now, as blinded by queen light, tries to dim it with toxic, useless fights. Mm. A distraction keeping her from her birthright. But um, she's wiser, smarter, stronger than that. She won't let him be better fucking come correct. Mm. With confidence and spine, not just be correct. She's open to ideas as long as there's major fucking respect. Because mm. I'm queen, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, you better come clean with those rotten intentions and shit. Mm. Let me tell you a thing or two about these knights. They'll try to gallop on their high horses over your clearly set boundaries and choices. Mm. And then turn around at surprise when you start dishing out those consequences. Mm. Acting like victims, changing faces. Mm. I just observe as they do these silly dances and while they lie and dance, I smile, keep building, making big moves and advances. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm queen. Don't need no reason. I just simply, it's just simply my season because I'm queen. I don't need no permission. Though they try to make me feel small and in prison, queen won't stop or give them reason, pays them no mind because it's my season. Mm. They better come correct with confidence and spine, not just be correct. Open to ideas as long as there's major respect. Mm. So queen, you need a king, not a knight. I say you need a queen, king, not a knight. Queen, where the queen's at? Where the king's at? <laughs> uh, I like that. Where the king queen's at?